Hello, this is National Chess Master R. Rats here at chess.com, continuing my uh, video series of the team match between my video lessons group and Carpe Diem. And this was played down, I think, on board 133, uh, rating advantage for my team about 1693 to 1560. And let's have a look at this game, see what happens. Okay, we're in a. Now, this is kind of slow, A3, uh, but it's playable. And I don't know, C5 just seems, doesn't seem right, or C6 doesn't seem right. Usually, if White's setting or Black's setting up a tatter car system, he'll eventually get this pawn to C5. But, you know, C6 is certainly playable. And here, I think uh, Black or White embarks on a faulty strategy. He's trying, trying too quick to bring his pieces into play. Uh, just develop another piece. Develop the, the king bishop, get castle, bring out the queen knight, get your queen off the back row. Don't need to be moving pieces twice in an opening. And, you know, it, what it does is it threatens a pawn, but uh, black can guard that pawn, and he does. Uh, the pawn is now covered, and now white sets up a discovery. And now he's moving a piece again a second time in the opening, and black solves that problem by simply developing. And now white's got a little uh, bit of a dilemma. Um, black is threatening to win a pawn and for whatever reason black doesn't or white doesn't see it and just allows black to win a clear pawn and, and this defies logic to me uh, you know you if you're gonna play chess you need to be able to count uh, how many pieces are attacking and how many pieces are defending here black has three pieces hitting e5 white only has two uh, I guess maybe he looked at knight d3 and this pawn falls. Well, that's okay. And I don't know what he looked at. Uh, let's see. Let's take this way first. Now he's wishing Zug. And let's see. Where's this knight going to go? Uh, well, maybe he has to lose. Maybe maybe black can maybe black can hold on to his pawn. So you know it's. The problem here is white is moving pieces too many times in the opening. Uh, can he put it, put it, he could take this knight, I suppose. That would work. Knight takes. Okay, now if white plays, bishop takes bishop. Uh, let's see. Black plays this. Knight takes, check. Takes and cover this. And maybe, maybe black's winning a pawn here too, you know. So... White's moving the pieces just didn't help him. Uh, let's go back to the main line. He doesn't take on uh, d7. He plays bishop e2, and black just wins a pawn right out of the opening. And this shouldn't happen in correspondence chess, okay? You have time to analyze the position. You have three days. Uh, if you're playing too many games, uh, don't start any new ones and get down to manageable level. But now it's just pretty easy for for black he just keeps making reasonable moves trading pieces uh, a clear pawn ahead now white's finally completing his development but he's down a pawn and trouble trouble starts to hit now black's uh, preparing a d4 break and here it comes and now he's getting ready to shove a pawn down d3 and white immediately blunders. And now white's, or black's able to take this uh, rook off the board because uh, it can't be recaptured. There's a mate threat. Again, how can someone miss this in correspondence play? It, it just defies all logic. Uh, you know, obviously, you're moving too fast. You're not analyzing. This is where you improve your game. You're, you're not helping your, your chess improve. You're not helping your team. And now the rest pretty much can go without comment. Uh, Black just starts collecting pawns and, and uh, hey, let's, let's trade queens. And and uh, here, here uh, White decided to resign. He's, he's clearly losing. Anyway, that was not a very great game to look at. But again, let's look at what went wrong. Uh, the, the, the thing to do is develop pieces. Bishop e2, bishop d3, get ready to castle. Black has nothing here. Uh, black only won a pawn because white overextended himself. 
you know, 95, of course Black's going to defend that pawn, okay? He's not going to just give it to you. Uh, but, but the way some of these people play correspondence chess, uh, I guess nothing would surprise me. Okay, let's look at the other game. Load her up. Square shot has swipe this time, so let me flip the board. Okay. So we have a real Lopez. We've all seen this position a million times. Usually B5 is delayed, but it's certainly playable. And this game actually followed uh, Book for a while uh, until a critical point here. Uh, now he stops a, a bishop pin because there could be a bishop pin on g4. There could be unwanted pressure on d4. And uh, let's see. But here comes here comes the critical uh, the critical point. Uh, there is some there is some theory on this position. And if one examines the databases, one can actually, so this is one of the ideas in correspondence chess, you want to look at the various positions that have been played and see if you're comfortable with them. In other words, if you follow this variation, do you like your game? Do you like uh, the harmony your pieces get? Is it too complicated for you? Is, is it something you're not comfortable with? You know, you make these decisions by playing over the variations. And in some cases, you might even find uh, a uh, flaw in the analysis. Maybe somebody, well, what about this move? And, you know, this is how the great players, in, you know, over the years have gotten uh, points. They study openings that someone's likely to play, and they find an improvement in there. Uh, one of the most famous examples is, was from the 1960s uh, when Hans Berliner, the American who won the third World Correspondence Champion, uh, he played the Alyekin defense as black, but he was going to be paired uh, as black with uh, Yaakov Estrin, who was the world's leading authority on a uh, on the uh, uh, two knights defense. And, and Berliner found a flaw in his analysis and got him into that line and beat him. So anyway, somebody's sending me a chat request, but I can't take it now. You'll just have to wait. But the move the move been played. Uh, this move had been played, but it's not necessarily gets the best results. But here, uh, once again, the inexplicable happens. Uh, Black just decides to jettison a piece. If he had followed Book, he would have found the correct move. You know, here he looks, it looks kind of bad because your knights are forked, but there is a defense. He just jettisons a piece. Uh, the correct move is queen e8. And... I was looking at some of the book analysis on this. This rook goes to e1, and I think, uh, let's see, bishop d7, bishop, bishop. there's some positions where black has to give up the queen for uh, uh, a rook and minor piece. Uh, Let's see, I think it's this, knight f6. Wait, no, it's, no, it's knight f6 in this position. Yeah, knight f6, bishop g5. And I think this has actually been played before. And, uh, you know, it's pawn count, it's it's equal, a point count, but white enjoys uh, a queen for a rook and a minor piece. But this is certainly more playable for black than just giving up a whole piece. Okay, black has a fighting chance if he tries that, and he has no chance giving up a piece. And, you know, it's why I wonder what are people analyzing when they're playing correspondence chess? You know, it's not a substitute for over-the-board play. If you treat it that way, you not only are you going to lose a lot of your games, you're not going to improve. So it just kind of goes without comment now. White's uh, a free piece ahead. Whoops, look at that. <laughs> Black has to give up a bishop. White has uh, uh, a domination on the light squares. Okay. And, oops, there's a fork. So let's pick up the pawn with check first, grab a rook. Now let's threaten a mate in one. Black def defends it. Uh, white takes, swings his rook over, and there's no defense to rook e8. 
uh, Black is going to lose his queen for a rook. And at this point, Black decided to resign the game. So there wasn't too much to these uh, two games because uh, White was uh, Black. In this case, John John and Vipa was playing too quick. So good job, Square Shot, finding the right moves. And thanks for your time and looking at these videos. Take care.